What's up guys? It is Great Fairy Carrie and for today's video I'm really excited because today's video is a video all about designing your island and how to help you get to five stars and giving you some ideas that I've incorporated into my own island. Before I get started though guys, please check out the description down below. I have linked all of my social medias. It would mean a lot if you guys would check them out. And also I have linked a playlist of all of my Animal Crossing guide and tip videos. So be sure to check that out if you need help with your island. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Dodo Visit is an awesome new free to use website for Animal Crossing fans. You can host your own island or visit someone else's. The website updates in real time and allows you to see what's going on on the available items such as high turnip prices, Celeste, villages and boxes, etc. Link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. I guess Blue Bear and Ellie are going to be helping me out today. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this area right here, how to use bushes in a very pleasing way on your island that's going to help you decorate, help you get to those five stars. I am also going to show you how to make these little circular paths if you do not already know how to do them and these little circular um, islands and platforms right here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm also gonna show you some really cool tricks for water terraforming and making some really neat looking waterfalls that you can incorporate around your island. So it should be a really fun video. I'm excited. This is my first design video I'm doing. Alrighty guys, so to go to this, I'm gonna use a different area on my island that has some elevation. Sorry guys, I gotta squeeze through here. So we're gonna be doing that exact same thing over here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and get the bushes down. So I'm gonna select my shovel, and we are going to want to select my shovel, and we are going to want to just place those bushes in the very back of the ramp, and one right in front of it there, and the same thing on the other side. And you can use any bushes that you would like for this. I chose the azalea just because it is currently in season and blooming and it looks really cute. I am probably gonna switch out all of my bushes every single season so that the ones that are decorating my island are always ones in bloom. Perfect, so it is already looking a lot better with the little bushes there. And the next thing we are gonna wanna do is we are going to want to open up our island designer app. And we're gonna select our water terraforming tool and you are just gonna go to the spot that is next to the bushes but on top of your platform and we are going to terraform right there and that is going to create the little waterfall for us and do the exact same thing on the other side alrighty and once you have your little waterfalls laid out you're just gonna come to the bottom and go just around the bushes to kind of snug the bushes right up against your ramp. And get this a little bit curved. Perfect. And do the exact same thing on the other side. Alrighty, and that spruced up our ramp so much. It looks super cute. It almost looks like there's a little hidden waterway underneath the ramp that connects the streams. Alrighty, and if we switch over to just any kind of path we would like to make, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick how to do the circle path, just in case you don't already know how to do it. Um, so I'm gonna go over here. This is my handy dandy little filming area back here. It's completely empty, so it's really good for filming videos if I need space to um, create something for you guys. So you are just gonna put four squares to form a larger square. Whoopsies. <laughs> Alrighty, and once you have your four squares, you are just gonna go back and you are gonna curve each corner and that is going to make your circle. Easy peasy. So there is how you make your circle path if you did not know already. Hello again, Ellie. So right here, you're gonna see I have my very large little pedestal cliff area. I'm not positive what they call that, 
But I really like this. I have my little soft serve lamp in the middle and then I have some flowers around it and I made it nice and circular. It fits in well with the circular plaque that I placed here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to terraform yourself your own little circular cliff if you would like to. Oh, look, she's getting ready to do some little sporty stuff. Um, so if you'd like to make your own pedestal around your island. So we're gonna go back to my little filming area over here. Alrighty, and we're just gonna get our little cliff terraforming out. And what I like to do to make my little circle cliffs is I get one, and this is going to be my centerpiece. And now I just be sure that I cover every single part that can touch this, if that makes sense. So we are going to end up with nine squares of terraformed cliff by the end of it. So I like to make pretty much a little plus sign like this and then fill in each empty corner. Perfect. Oh, the most annoying thing about terraforming is when you're trying to get one place and your character just turns around and gets the exact opposite place. It's super unhelpful. All right, so right now at this step, you should have this large square just hanging out right here. And now you're just gonna go and you are going to curve each one of the corners. And just one more over here. Perfect. And so now you have your cute little circular pedestal right here. And you can place whatever you would like in the middle. You can place flowers. Uh, I did my soft serve lamp. Another cool thing you can do, if you go to your water terraforming permit, you can create a really cute corner waterfall off of the circle. And you pretty much just pick whichever side you'd like it to be. So I'm doing the front and then the right side. And so I cut out the front for the waterfall and the side, and then you're going to want to get the middle part. And once you get the middle part, they will connect, and it's going to be this cute little waterfall area right here. And let me see if I have anything nice to put down. Um, just a lily is about all I've got on me. So now we have this cute little corner waterfall with the lilies on it. And if we get down, And that is super cute for a walkway if you put one on each side or if you just wanted to have this um, next to some of the villager houses or just anywhere in your island that you would like to incorporate this, maybe leading into your river. I just really like these little corner waterfalls because I think they add a lot and they just look very unique and they're really adorable so I'm a big fan of that. And now I'm just going to give you a small little tip about using bushes for decoration. I know a lot of people, including myself, like to place waterfalls to decorate the edges of cliffs, but sometimes when you place a waterfall, it looks awkward when it's not leading to anywhere, and it just stops the bottom there. So if you don't want to be stringing rivers all around your island every time you want to decorate the cliff, a really nice thing to do is if you place some bushes at the base of the waterfall. That way, instead of looking like it's going nowhere, like right here, there could possibly be a hidden stream behind the bushes or underneath the bushes. You can't really tell. It kind of conceals the bottom of the water just to blend it in more with your island and make it look a lot cuter. So I'm a big fan of doing this. And plus, it adds more flowers and more foliage to your island alongside the waterfalls. And it's a really good way to decorate the side of your cliff. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over a few of the items that are around this area just in case you guys are interested and wanted to know how to get them. So this up top right here is the saucer lamp. You can get this at Nook Shop and it is super cute. It is one of my favorite items in the game and it comes in a lot of different colors so you don't have to get a rainbow one. This right here is a cotton candy machine that you can get with your Nook Miles tickets. Over here is another Nook Miles tickets item. It is the little hippity hop horse. The pink flamingo is an item you can get from Nook Shop. This right here is one of my new favorites and this is the coconut lamp. I got this from a DIY bottle on the beach and it turns out looking green when you first craft it. But for five customization kits, you can customize it to a blue, a pink, a tropical theme. It's super cute. I chose the pink one right here and I think it looks really nice and it glows really well at night. And then these little trees right here 
are the tree standees, and if you customize them, you can pick what season you would like your tree standee to be. So you can get a winter one, a fall one, a regular one, and the cherry blossom one. I, of course, chose the cherry blossom one because it looks super cute. And this is just the little cherry blossom picnic set. Um, my island is a little empty over here just because this is kind of like the little filming area. And I have not finished my island yet. Also, guys, just at the end real quick, um, I did get Peanut. Peanut is the most recent villager to move into Kokiri. I wanted to show you Peanut's house and just kind of introduce you in case... Oh, she likes my sweater. Peanut magic. A fairy tale hood. Oh, she is so sweet. She's my fashion gone mother. It's so cute. And if you used any of the tips that I gave you in this video, please tweet a picture to me or show it to me on Instagram because I would absolutely love to see. And please do not forget to like and subscribe for some more Animal Crossing videos. Thank you guys so much and have an awesome, awesome rest of your day.